There was never a moment when music was not a part of Henry Williams Saonga's life. He could sing before he could talk and he could dance before he could walk. After emigrating from Samoa to Hawaii, Henry, his parents and two of his sisters performed traditional Hawaiian and Samoan song and dance at luau's around Honolulu. Many did not know what to make of this brown-skinned Samoan boy from Hawaii, especially after his division moved south to Tennessee. But Henry took it in stride, making quick friends by entertaining his fellow troops, by singing and playing the Stars and Stripes on his ukulele. A single photo of Henry exists from his time in training. In it, Henry is shown with bare feet befitting an island boy, kicking a football 60 yards down the field. It's a rare photo of a smiling Henry, and his dimples are on full view for all of the spectators on the sidelines. According to a morning report filed on July 1st, 1944, members of Henry's company were sent on a daylight patrol, led by their co-commander, Captain William P. Berman. The members of the patrol were all volunteers, including 18-year-old Henry Saanga. During this time, the patrol was pinned down by enemy fire. From the morning report, Private Saanga displayed extraordinary courage and bravery without respect for his own life. When he vaulted an enemy-occupied hedgerow to attack, alone, an enemy MG position whose fire was pinning the patrol down. As a result of his act, the patrol was able to move out and return to their own lines. When last heard of, Private Saanga was throwing hand grenades and firing his rifle. At this time, Private Saanga is still missing. Music was ever the balm that soothed the Saanga family. The song you've been listening to is Ole Vi O Enele, translated from the Samoan to mean Henry's tribute. Written by Henry's mother, Evo, the song tells the story of the Saonga's missing only son and their despair at his loss. It implores Henry's father to go look for his son in all the places he would have been had he not gone to war, swimming at the beach, surfing in Waikiki, or on the sports fields at Iolani. Henry's vi'i, as the Saonga family refers to the song, has been sung in the years since Henry's death by many different fam family members, including Henry's mother, sisters, nieces, and nephews. Goodbye, farewell, it says, we will not forget you. We can say goodbye, but you remain in our hearts. The song is a fitting tribute to a young man who died a hero, a song forever in his own heart. <laughs>